So you can see why... Like, it's, it's weird because it's not fair to Dark Souls 2. Like, straight up, I'll admit it. Because a flaw of Dark Souls 1 is actually used to disparage Dark Souls 2. Mm -hmm. And that is the ending of Dark Souls 1 felt pretty unfinished. Boy, I can't wait till we play a Dark Souls game they had the time to finish every area in. Ah. Uh. And then you get to f the fucking woods and you're like, God damn it, right? So they're actually pretty similar in that respect. I think Dark Souls 1... Uh, oh no! You discovered their move set. I think Dark Souls One is actually more of a bummer because it's like the final areas of the game, uh, whereas the unfinishedy parts of DS Two are in the middle. Okay. And like, uh, like the castle in DS Two is still awesome, right? And that's a big, important place. That texture is really interesting. Yeah. But yeah, here it's like the the two out of the three final areas are just kind of, which most people don't see. Yeah. So, oh, you're on your fucking completionist stats kick again, aren't you? It's just... You go through phases of this. Have you noticed that? It hurt me a little bit when I found that out. I didn't know that. And when, was, when they came out, I'm like, of course. It's like, it's like reading about marketing data and about how like certain types of advertising works better than others. And the worst, scummiest ones that make you feel bad inside... The ones that make you gross. ...are the ones that they work. yield amazing profits. Yes. It's like those facts. You know, like you kind of find that, oh yeah, like more than 95% of people don't finish that game. They just buy it and then I would they bet, bought it. I would bet uh, games that are noted for their difficulty and or like insular shit are actually, uh, they actually have um, higher completion areas. So I believe that. Uh, I just think that like, you know what, when we were talking about yesterday with the whole, like, oh, gotta stay a current, gotta stay current, yeah. you kind of run into the issue of, um, I'm gonna not... Do so you see that door down there? The, at the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to go through there. Okay. Before the fog gate. Okay. The, the possibility of the person playing it and, like, if interest drops, then interest drops. But if there's a possibility that it didn't drop, but, like, something new, I gotta go do that. Did you, uh, did you ever I play just, Gears of War 2? I go, oh. No, I didn't. Okay, so in Gears of War 2, there's a part in the second or third level, like, act, where you go underground to take the fight to the Locust. And there's a bit where you see this absolutely gorgeous field of flowers, like subterranean blue glowy flowers, and it's, it's very surprising, particularly because you're playing Gears of War, right? I remember in the lead-up for that, there was an interview with the artist who designed it, who described, like, the anxiety, like, near anxiety attacks that he felt in the original versions of the level, in which playtesters didn't turn their heads and never saw it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and how he's like, so, I, we remade the level a little bit, so that it was not possible to not see it. Yeah. Right? And and stuff like that. And that and that and the guys who are... Say you're making a game in which uh, uh, different people are designing different bosses. Or there's one, even one person designing all the bosses, right? Think of like, well, I want to make the final encounter really special, so i got to put extra work into the thing that only 10% of the actual player base is going to see compared to the first boss. Yeah. Um, and that leads to what I think is the most depressing aspect of most modern games, in which games that start off strong will often just get worse and worse as you play Because them. the money's not there. <laughs> because the money's not there. Because, yeah. especially when you're talking about, like, an EA or, you know, a, a, a cynical publisher, you'd call them. Yes. Where the vertical slice, whatever you saw at the E3 was the vertical slice. Everything around that is the best part of the game. And they know that they have they have those stats, they have those numbers, and they fucking pray to those numbers about how many people are not going to see that end level. And then they just go, yes, uh, you don't have that in the same budget for this, or, or you know, back that off. Or, Eat my fucking balls, how about that? You huh? know, and you're just like, fuck me. I'm like, God damn it! if you didn't fight the boss, you missed out on everything. Huh. Huh. Oh yeah, little baby, little baby spider guys, huh? 
Yeah, they're gross. They give almost no souls. But you're probably one I want to kill them. Yeah. Okay. Got your babies. Baby. Oh my god, that's annoying. It would actually be easier for you if you didn't walk on. Or if you use your Uchi, yeah. What the fuck is that? Dark spot? Huh, weird. Hey, I heard that, uh, remember that suspicious room? Hmm? We needed a light source. Ha! <laughs> you think this is one of those? No, that, that mechanic's in the DLC. Oh. That's why they give you a dev message. Okay. So congrats, you finally made it to the door that we spent so much of the game building up towards. Not the fog door. Nope. This door. Covenant was totally worth it. Kill those bugs. Oh, you're being a cunt, aren't you? Uh, one of them's gonna drop something. Oh, that wasn't a creature. Okay. The, the camera made that look like a beast. Like, head. So don't walk forward, please. Check to see which one of them dropped something. There was one left. No, was there? Or there was that a crystal lizard? No, I think I saw one left that ran forward. Well, go back and see, make sure something dropped anything. Okay. Kind of important. There we there go. There it is. Pick that up. Oh. Oh, boy. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. We're getting really, really in now there. Now let's examine that. Okay. Wow. Shit's getting... I'm sorry if I'm being stern, but it's But very these important. are highly specific actions we're talking these about. Very important. I understand. Uh, it's a helmet. It's a helmet. The maggot is a helmet. It sure is. Why would the maggot be a helmet? It sucks. A loathsome parasite that inhabits Lost Isolith. It is completely immobile, yet still lives. When worn on the head, it emanates a blinding light, which is why it is known as the Sunlight Maggot. So put it on for funsies, you'll see what it does. It's gonna be very useful to you. Down. Uh, well, yeah, there it is. Yeah. So step one, I, I'm going to imagine you're gonna be pretty happy when you go to the fucking Tomb of the Giants. That's cool. Light okay. source. Yeah. That's great. Number two. Uh, bone out. Bone out. Yeah. Don't even walk forward. Don't walk forward. Got it. Oh, this fucking game sometimes, <laughs> man. <laughs> <sighs> Dark Souls 3s are the worst. Are you playing the video game like a normal video game? Fuck you, everyone's dead. <laughs> All right. You can feel free to take that off. Uh, it's not important. It's um, cool to look at, though. It's, uh, what, yeah, it's super cool to look it at. It sucks, but it's a nice cosplay, um, not cosplay, but fashion souls item. Yeah, and it's also, like, crazy useful in the, in the fucking Tomb of the Giants, because you don't have to hold it in your hand. Yep. It's better, it, it's also better than the, um, what do you call it, uh, the, the lantern, and it's just as good as the spell. And it doesn't take slots. But it's it infinite, and you put it on your head, and you're done. That's great, that's great. All right, and now you can just make a run to the fucking door. Yeah, right. Like, so, you just took a lot of steps that you can't actually know why. I can't know why. Um, and I don't want to tell you why, and I'm pretty sure the audience at home, but it's like, that's the nature of this stupid shit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, like, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be you talking to your friends at the at the water cooler, right? Yeah. I did but that's not what it is. What it is is you get to the end and you fucked it up and you go, that's bullshit and you look it up. Right? There you come. I should have blocked that. So I really like this guy. Um so you know what he's about. I know I like him for a lot of reasons. But the number one is that he is casting fire sorcery. Ah. Not pyromancy. Finally! Right? And that's really cool to me.
That being said, for you, this is Tuesday. Especially with the fucking gear you have on that's fire resistant. Fire resistant stone shit. Yeah. And your shield is fire blocky. Holy shit, you took that like a pro. Well, your character's a brick. Feels like a brick. Here we hear the expression, you built like a brick shit house. Brick. Ow. Oh, no. Wait, is that Martin Lawrence's song? That's not, Martin Lawrence is a comedian. Then why do I, why did my brain go Martin, oh, because it's the theme of the Big Mama has house series. Maybe, maybe <laughs> that's what happens. Somewhere in there. Oh, boy. It's not your fault. It's not my fault. I'm doing my best out here, guys. He's trying. Just like this. So there's, there's a, the, the, okay, so I'll tell you one reason why you shouldn't, uh, go through that. So that's a shortcut. Okay. That bypasses, like, 80% of the zone. Oh, okay. And if you were playing this game by yourself, yeah, by all means. But, I mean, it's no LP, right? You know? Let's check out the demon catalyst. So, um... Also, he dropped humanity, which is confusing. Oh, yeah, I didn't even pay attention to that. Uh, so, the, um... God, a train of thought, I'm sorry. That's our third romp. <gasps> With an asylum demon. That's your last as well. Okay. You it's... want to talk about recycled fucking enemies in this zone? <laughs> Holy shit! Look, this one's did, on fire. I did not see that one coming. So that sucks. I want to say that sucks. That the first two are fine because they're in the same place and it makes sense. But that one's pushing it. Also, that one's totally pushing it. Like that's yeah. Uh, and I was like, I still hate eight Taurus demons clicked into into existence. Well, 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 think, yeah, think of that fucking when you open up the lava and you see 12 of them just uh, that, standing that's, there. That just looks really stupid video game. That's baby's first yep. live, level editor, you know, uh, unfortunately. But, yeah, here we go. All right. <sighs> uh, the demon catalyst formed from, I from Isolith, uh, molten rock, can be used as a fire weapon. The demon fire sage was the first demon. Period. And the last ma master of the original fire arts before the Witch of Isleth was engulfed by chaos, creating pyromancy. Oh. Okay. So that one was actually important. The first demon ever. Okay. And the last person to ever have fire sorcery. There's a whole lot of firsts, but none of them actually mean that, um, the timeline is is given any more context because you know, everything's in ages. The first, the first magic, the first soul, the first dragon, the first human. Oh, somebody kindled near you. Yay! So many firsts, but like they're billions of years apart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were talking about it. I don't know if it was on camera or whatever, but like by the end of Dark Souls Three, there is the implication that yes, this could have literally taken a like a million years in between DS1 and DS3. Uh, did you three. not see what I just did? No. I don't know. They see... I don't know if they're demons or if they're automated. Like, it... Like, it... Anyway. You I'm, can go down or you can go up. I'm gonna assume that they were not... Um, that they were designed the way they were, but if I was on the, the the kick of going like, oh man, they ran out of time for sure, for sure, then you'd be like, yeah, they have these characters that are modeled, but they're, they, let's not animate them. They are, so you can see when they die, their head tilts a little bit. Yeah, because they're stone creatures, I get that. But anyway, the, the feeling of rush is certainly present. Uh, Tomb of the Giants isn't that bad. This one's the worst. Okay. Um, uh, by far. So that that boss is the is the punctuation mark. Oh no, it's not at the end of the sentence. Okay, so that that boss is like the period, but the area you're about to go into is like the exclamation point exclamation point question mark exclamation point asterisk slash penguin of doom to that sentence. Jesus fuck. That was weird how they took so long to attack me. It is weird. I thought they were going to talk to me for a second. Hey guys, what's going on? Because nowadays I don't know. Oh boy, okay, big new room. No, you're good. Keep okay. going, All trust right. me. All right. hmm? Yeah, I know, right? So they're, they're clearly statues, right? He's moving, though. Yeah, I know! So you're here. 
Okay. Is he alive or is he just a floating statue? Shortcut ahead. You guys? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. This is one of my favorites. All right. Before I step on that, let's see what's over here. <laughs> nothing. Uh, let's see what's over there. <laughs> Looks like nothing. What about on the other side, Babu? <laughs> ah, a way forward. Okay. So you still got down? You still got uh, after this? Yeah, this is one of my big favorites. A burning elevator. <laughs> That's... Ah, we activated. Isn't that fucking awesome? We activated. Isn't that great? That's great. That's really good. And like you think back on it, and it's like, yeah, no, that is a really distinctive circle on the floor. You should have memorized. <laughs> you should have seen that one coming. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, uh, 27. Yeah, close. Let's. Uh... You need like 42, 43 now. Yeah. So no, you're not. You oh. don't have it in you. All right, let's see if I can. Um, what did I want to do? I wanted to get here, and I wanted to drop some of uh, this shit off. Because it was annoying me. Oh, you're doing it! I can see him doing it! Tarkus, you stay with me. Uh, Crystalline can go. I can see him just mashing down the list. Mm. Uh, Maiden can go. Uh, Tarkus, I'm gonna carry your armor on me forever. Well, apparently Because it's, I love you. Apparently it's top three when you upgrade it. Yeah. Are you gonna have a moment where you you grind out the upgrade materials? I, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Because if you do, you're gonna have to do it like in between now and Friday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I'm telling you that right now. Havel can go, and uh, Child can stay, Maggot can stay, Avarice can. Oh can yeah, stay. no, those two. You're special. Friendship ended with symbol of Avarice. Now Sunlight Maggot is my new best friend. Fucking Maggot helmet. If I found that, I would never think to put it on my head. That's crazy. Well, yeah. I like that it's a chaos elevator. Like, if you look really closely it is. At, at the fucking, uh... And is that the sigil that's on the ring? I'm not sure. Well, that's really cool. Alright. Uh, so the way forward was... Right. RUN! <sighs> so there's, uh, there was a way forward... Uh -huh. ...down then, that way, and, and there was downstairs. also the downstairs... ...of here. Yeah. Let's do that. Those are both options. You guys don't look like your chasers. Well, they kind of do, but they're really slow. Right? That's their top movement speed. So I'm not worried about it. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, at least the level is a level. I'll tell you what, it says a lot about the game that, uh... I feel like I had places like Duke's Archives, Undead Paris, stuff like that pretty locked into my head. Mm -hmm. This layout? Not much. Very unfamiliar. Bonfire. Oh wow, there's another bonfire. Almost unnecessary, but I imagine that's only because I'm not getting. I, I, if I did this zone when it was. Because you're not getting shit wrecked. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. If I did this when it was hard, then I would have uh, felt differently about that. Oh, I wonder what was down at the other one. Oh well, we'll have plenty of time to check. Down at the other one? Remember, uh, uh, the elevator had another path that was way forward? Yeah. Yeah. That was not here, so yeah, I, 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 I honestly can't remember where the fuck that goes. Okay, well this is a fog gate. Yeah. So you want to backtrack and go down that other one? I think that's the thing. All right, let's do it. I'm um playing funnel right now. Yeah. So this area straight up becomes a uh, fucking uh, smoldering lake in DS3. Like, 100%. You see the ruins. Like, the architecture is identical. You see the, you see the, uh, the Kelana ends up becoming a horrible spider demon like her sisters over time. So apparently that shit's inevitable. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And you said she used to be cool. And you met her and she's fucking cool. She is. Shame and then it's like, you you get her tome, you're like, oh, are you serious? That's... Like... In inevitable? Like, you can't even avoid that? Is that because of who they are, or is that because of the, of the chaos? I think those two questions are actually the same question, and the answer is yes. Okay. Mm. 
No good future. Mistakes were made. Yeah. <laughs> no good future for chaos users, huh? It's no, not really. Well, because chaos user is a form of chaos magic is a form of pyromancy that uses humanity as fuel. And you, you guess what? That makes you an, a kind of de facto shitty bonfire keeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually, that's gonna be burnt out unless you get more. Oh, wait, what? Where the fuck is? Uh, you're back at the beginning. Okay, this is the this is the fire. This is where I fought him. This is the fire sage room. Okay, so just the that was weird. Weird loop. Why they do this? Okay. So can I still not go forward on that little pathway over there? No, don't do that. Okay, all right. Well, hell, hell no. You want you want the really fun bit? Do you know why I'm so anal about it? You know what the trigger for that event is? Walking into it. The name of the area spawning. Oh, <laughs> that's that's what causes it. Yeah. Okay. That's a, it's a straight up event trigger. Okay. Okay. And it's like, the fucking really? That's why I started to get all freaked out when you were walking forward because I knew if you walked ten more feet, the events would happen. Exploration is a bad thing sometimes, huh? Okay, so now I've definitely got enough. I've got thirty. I can pop. Oh, you can this. you can bon you can kill every bonfire in the game. No problem. No problem. No, no, not, not Kindle. Get a level. Oh, I thought you were looking at humanity. Um, That's I, what I thought you were doing. The last couple bosses I fought did give me a fuck ton of it. Manus gave me ten? I yeah, think. Oh, yeah. And then, uh... So I have been, uh, I wouldn't say informed, but, uh... At, so the problem with Manus is that all the speculation that I read was back when that thing came out. And about him being the fur for yeah. me. So the basic and so the idea is that they he may not have the dark soul, but even if he was the first human, his dark soul would be significant. And as the first human, he would still break into all the little pieces of the of those queenie bitches. Regardless of whether it's it it's over time, it's it seems to have shifted more to like no, he's the first human being ever, and not like he's the father of the dark slash fur. They need humanity. Try jumping off. I I wanna. Oh yeah, although there's prob there's a, a what should we call it uh, the cool guy that I like invades me if I was human. Chester. There? Chester. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's cool. You get his crossbow and he's like, oh darn. If you kill him when he invades you. Nope, he is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Timeline's convoluted. No, because they don't die when you die in an invasion. It's not a real. When yeah. you get killed by an invader, you're dead. But when you invade and get killed, you just get sent back to your world. Mm -hmm. And he's he's like, hey, what's he's yeah, he's from a different place. He's like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? Ooh, the lighting guy. Oh, it sure did. Cool. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Here we go. You notice that you have ceaseless demon fire sage, and now this in highly quick proximity, like right after one another. Which one do I stab first? All of them. Let's go with that one. Maybe that one. I like this one. I like this design. Yeah. Lots of things happening here. <laughs> oh, and you've got legs too. Yeah, it's, you don't see it. And it's just, it's a straight up centipede demon. And by the way, your boss fight area is limited to the places you can stand. I can see that much. All right. Uh, uh. You're just gonna have to wait for it. Luckily, you're big and t and tough. Yeah. You gonna get a little closer on me, or? No, you're not. Okay. Yeah, he's fucking cool. All right, now you're in range, though. Now you're playing my game. Now he's in my distance. A little bit. And he's also not very strong. Like, physically. He's on the... I, like didn't, that, I, I didn't want to risk it. That chest shit is cool. Yeah, so his legs are uh, a better spot for you than his, test, his torso. I did not want to risk it. Oh yeah, you're doing it. Nice dodges. So, while this boss is really cool, as you can probably tell, it's also kind of awful. <laughs> it's rough. Because you have no room to fight him, and 
It's the worst version of just stab his legs a bunch that's ever existed. Which is a shame because he has a bunch of mechanics that no one ever, ever sees. You can cut parts of the centipede off and they'll become their own monsters and regrow. Wow, okay. But, I mean, who's going to see that? Look, look how you're doing it. Like, you're doing it as good to perfect as you possibly could. Right? And you defeated him. Good job. But you don't get to see any of that uh, shit. Yeah, fuck it. Well, and the camera's also awful. Yeah, yeah. You had the orange charge, right? Big enemies um, not benefiting from being up close to you. Humanity and a homeward belt. How, how wonderful. I like that the demons drop uh, humanity. Yeah. Yeah, you got the orange charred ring. Um, what, what is, what is, what do you think that means? What do you mean? I think the demons are born from yeah, humanity. Right, you came from humanity. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's, what it That's the to. one right there. Uh, reduces lava damage. There we go. So it's an orange ring enchanted by a witch who reduces lava damage. Since his sores were inflamed by lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him this special ring. But the fool that he is, he readily dropped it, and from that spot, a terrible centipede demon was born. <laughs> so that's talking about Ceaseless. Okay. So he's the brother of this the witches, is where you get that from. and the reason why he's so fucked is because he dropped his goddamn ring, and that's why his his de physical deformities look just like the centipede demon. Uh, also, he. Well, the way they all get fucked over time anyway. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, like, yeah. But it's implied that he was the shittiest and the weakest. He's not even mentioned in the intro. And he's just sitting in lava. Yeah. Okay. That little... You see that You see that little line right there on the... Uh, on the... Where it says Willington? You see it? I do. Fuck. It's a resolution bug. Yeah. I get that. All right. Finally. Oh, yeah, put that means, shit on. A means... Of dealing. You're gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> when do you step on that lava? Is it that much different? It's that much different. Because now I can go get that item for my own purposes. You don't. That's the wrong ring. That's the wrong ring. That's the wrong ring. It's the one that it's looked- up, up, yeah, up, up, up. It, it, it looked all fucked up and I didn't even read the name. I just grabbed it's it. It's the orange shard ring. Orange shard. Orange shard. There it is. Uh, it was one above. I'm an idiot. It looks nothing like that. Nothing like it. Nothing. <laughs> I like how I said, oh, you're going to be blown away. And I'm not sure what you were expecting, but I'm certain you weren't expecting that. I thought it was going to be poison resistance. Oh, it was like in the, the item, it would be called lava as a stat that yeah, comes up. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? I thought it was going to be like just a little bit, like not completely and utterly negated. Yeah. Negated is a pretty decent term for it because it's, it's trivialized. Well, I it's got it's unmechanicked. <laughs> Don't even think about it anymore. Don't even. Hey, man. There was nothing over it's, there. It's free lava state. The lava's free. Just come and stand in it. We got the ring for you. No one else can stand in it. I'm not standing in it. Hell no. I'll die. But you're the chosen undead. You can stand in this. It's free lava. It's free to you. Just come get it. Just come get it, chosen undead. Hey! It's free lava. It's free lava. What's... There's a way out of here. I was gonna go back to the door. There it is. There it is. Uh, I have enough for another level. Uh... You do. Which you... You're gonna find a bonfire pretty soon. Okay, I'll just... You sure? Yes. Hmm... I don't know, maybe... I do... You know, I... I, I, I think I remember, but I'm not sure. <laughs> If we just stood here for a second, Maybe, if it, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I uh, mean, no, I think I'm no, gonna go I don't. Forward. Yeah, you can ah, go what? I, no. Okay, hold yeah, on. Yeah, all right, forward. all okay. right. It's it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> and I like how they I, I like how they use like the gameplay mechanic of you being true. Like that's why Ceaseless is so fucked up. Yeah, he doesn't have that. Hello. Feel free to chat. Hello. Very good. Uh, why are you all the way down here? Hello. Oh, he's. Why? why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. <laughs> 